Hi everyone. I am going to show you how to make these rustic wooden star ornaments for Christmas. They are super easy and fast to make. All the ornaments that you see here I made earlier today in about an hour and a half. They require very few supplies. Specifically, you just need some twigs that you can get from outside or that you can buy from amazon.com, some string, and some items to decorate the stars like buttons or ribbon and glue and scissors. And if you have those things, then you are ready to get to making some of these wooden star ornaments with me. The first supply you're going to need are some wooden sticks. Each star requires five wooden sticks. These are all four inches long. And I just went ahead and picked out some sticks from my little pile. I got them on Amazon, but you can get them in your backyard. There is a link in the video description. I also have some twine. I have some white string. I have my glue gun. I also have washi tape that we're gonna use to draw the template. You could use regular tape as well and a scissor and then whatever embellishments you want to use to decorate the stars that's all you need to get started so let's start by making our star template so i am going to um, just rip off five pieces of washi tape that are the exact size of the um, twigs there and then i am going to first make an a shape with my first two pieces of washi tape and those are going to be the first two points of the star. And then I'm going to lay one of my strips directly across about a third of the way down the first two legs of the star. And then I'm just going to connect the other two legs. So I'm just going to go diagonally. And that's going to give you the template that you need to build the ornaments. I find that it's much easier to just lay the sticks on the template than to try to make the star from memory. I didn't have a lot of success when I tried to do that on my own. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect that little A that starts our star. So I'm just going to connect the first two legs at the very top of our template there. And then I'm going to put two drops of glue right along that center leg. And I'm going to put the glue on the twigs that we're going to lay the third leg on top of. And then I'm just gonna lay that twig so that it matches where that third leg is or that middle leg is. And then I'm going to flip it over just to see if the legs will fit better on the back side. And sometimes they do, sometimes you can just add all of the legs on the front side. And you'll know if it works because if the legs don't meet, then um, you should just flip it over and see if um, they'll meet on the back. And they usually do. It really depends on the bend in the different twigs that you're using. So I am just going to let that fourth leg just dry there and then I'm gonna flip it back over because this last twig that we're gonna add fits better on the front side. And again, I feel like you're only gonna to get to the point where you need to start flipping things around when you get to the fourth and the fifth legs. And most of the time I didn't even have to flip it. I was able just to get everything on the front side. And that's what the star looks like when you're all done. And then I'm going to take a piece of twine and I'm just gonna tie a knot at the very top of that first point of the star. And then I'll tie a loop at the end so that we have an ornament hook that we can hang on the tree. Now I am going to wrap this star. So the first design we're gonna do is a string wrap star. So I'm going to get my um, one millimeter white string and I'm just going to add some glue to the back attach the string to the top point and then I'm just going to wrap it once or twice and then I'm going to add some glue along both of the legs and then I'm going to finish wrapping until I get to the center of the star. And this first leg is the hardest because you have the little ornament hook that's a little bit in the way, but just go slow and um, it gets much easier after we just get past that first leg and the, and the ornament hook. So I'm going to unwind some of the string. I find that it makes it easier if I have a little pile of string, so I'm not kind of fighting against the spool. I don't have a spool holder that probably would help, um, but I don't have that. So I'm just gonna wrap the second leg. And I would not think about this too much, like don't make your wraps perfectly neat, kind of make them 
a little bit scattered and overlapping. It'll just add to the rustic look. And I'm just going to keep wrapping my way around the ornament. So I wrap up from the middle to the top and then I wrap back down towards the middle. And then I kind of will start at the next leg from the middle going to the tip and then from the tip to the middle. And then I just keep turning as I go until I've covered all of the legs of the star. And then once we have covered the legs, then we can start covering the inside. So I'm just going to go diagonally um, between the points and I'm just going to keep twisting the star as I go, maybe making one or two wraps each turn until it looks pretty full in the middle. And that looks like it's getting there for me. I'm just going to pull a little bit more string off my spool and then we'll continue wrapping just a couple more times just to fill in that center. And again, there's no rhyme or reason to this. It's just um, depending on what your preference is for how closed up you want the star to be or how open you want it to be. And then once I'm done wrapping, the way that I will end this is I'm going to tie it off on the back. I'm just going to take the glue gun, add a little drop of glue on the back, and then sit the string right in the little pile of glue. And then take my scissor and just cut the end off. And it's really that simple. It's the back of the ornament, and even if it were the front, you're not really going to notice that little bit of glue. And there we have it. So we have our finished string wrapped wooden star ornament. I just love it. I think it's adorable. And I also use the twine to wrap some. I also use the wooden dowels as well, just to show you what that looks like in case you have dowels at home and not the sticks. If you are having fun with this project, I have some other projects also that use the wooden dowels and wooden sticks. I will um, link them above. And now we're gonna go to our next design. So this design is the most simple of all of them. I'm just gonna take a little piece of a quarter inch gingham ribbon and I just love the red and white for Christmas and I'm just gonna tie a little bow. And then I'm just gonna keep working on the bow until I get it to be the right size. A double bow would probably look really, really cute here as well. And then I'm just gonna trim the edges on a diagonal for the two little legs of the bow. And I'm just gonna add a dollop of glue right on the little knot of the twine there and I'm just gonna attach the center of the bow right there and it's it's that simple. So this is the simplest design that we have but I think it's just really, really lovely and you can personalize it based on the colors that you use for the ribbon. And then we're gonna try another version. So this is a little bit more um, decorated, a little bit more elaborate. So I have some burlap ribbon here, it's about nine and a half inches. I think anything between eight inches and 10 inches would probably work just fine for this bow. Then I'm going to take the burlap ribbon. It does have a wire in the end, so the, the bow will keep its shape. And I'm just going to overlap it by about one inch in the center. And then I'm just gonna squeeze the center from the edges to the center just to make the little indent for the bow. And then I'm going to take that gingham ribbon and just wrap it around just to create the little center or the knot of the bow. I'm just gonna tie it on the back. And if you like these ribbons, I will add a link um, in the video description below if you would like to purchase them. And now we're just going to add our bow to the top of our star. So I'm just gonna add another little dollop of glue on the knot on the twine. And then I'm gonna flip it over and to cover up the back side, I'm gonna add another dollop of glue. And I'm just gonna add a little wooden button that I have. And I'm just going to attach that on the back. So now we have an ornament that is um, goes two ways. So you can use it on either side. And I just think that's so adorable. And it also helps to secure the bow to the top and then hide all the, the little glue mess. I also have a version where I added a little word charm I have links to those charms and the buttons as well in the video description below. Um, the charms have all different types of sayings like love and blessed and hope and namaste, um, beautiful. And then for our final design, I am we're going to use the wooden buttons. So I'm going to add about five 
wooden buttons onto the side of the star here just to make a little rustic design. And I start by using the biggest button that I'm gonna use and I place that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the second um, biggest button and then the third. And then I just kind of work my way until I get to the smallest button. And I always try to use an uneven number of buttons. So one or three or five or seven. It just is more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. And I'm just using an assortment here. I just love all the different textures and the different colors. I just love how rustic, but yet still a little decorated that looks. So that is our final design that we're going to go through today. So let's take a look at all the lovely little wooden stars that we made. Like I said, I made these in about an hour and a half this morning. I just had such a great time making them. This is a great project to do on a family night or if you have your 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 children with you or your grandchildren visiting it's also a great like girls night project to do just get some eggnog and put on a hallmark movie or maybe a cup of tea and just have so much fun making these really really simple rustic ornaments but they're just so lovely and they're also great presents for for men because they're kind of masculine looking i think um great for like a farmhouse look or a country look. I just think they're adorable. So thanks so much for joining me, everyone. If you had fun watching this video and if you're going to try to make these ornaments or if you have made them, I would love to hear from you in the comments. I also have a number of other videos with similar easy to execute ornaments that also require limited supplies. A lot of the projects that I work on use the same supplies over and over again. So if you had fun with one of my projects, please check out um, my other ornament videos and I'm sure you can find something else that you like as well. Have a great day and I will see you again soon in the next video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful holiday crafting season.